Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. So in the last video, we have seen how can we deploy our model using PyCaret library and we have seen it, how easy it is to do that. It literally took two to three lines to do, deploy our created model using PyCaret. Now it is time to test our IPS in the real time. So this is exactly what we're going to do here. Mm, you must be pretty familiar with this particular uh, this particular diagram. Uh, we'll be creating a proxy server and the proxy server will be integrated with the machine learning model that we have created in the last few videos. And whenever we are actually sending any request to our server, our proxy is going to intercept the HTTP request and it is going to check whether this uh, the request HTTP request is good in nature or bad in nature. And so let's do it uh, as usual i'm going to use the jupyter notebook and i have already actually created this notebook so i'm going to you know go ahead and explain to you line by line or step by step so basically since we have to extract the features from the http request in real time uh, this code actually you know responsible for doing that so we are going to extract some of the features from the http request that uh, our ips receives in real time so this function is responsible for that so we'll just go ahead and do that and after that we are what we are doing this this is where we are actually our we are actually training our model so basically we are reading the old data set that we have seen in our previous video uh, which is saved in you know all data dot csv and we are reading that data we are actually you know setting up the environment for the model and we are actually applying k means clustering model and this is actually the k means object and the number of cluster we want to create is uh, what we have seen before is 2 so let's execute it now it is created now uh, what we have to do we have to actually you know uh, create a simple proxy server uh, using python that we have already created and this is the class responsible for you know uh, creating this proxy server uh, so let me quickly explain uh, to you guys you know how we are going to test it so uh, this is the uh, this is firefox web browser and uh, we are going to test our ips against a um, dummy website demo.testfire.net as you can see it is a known vulnerable web application we can actually search several stuffs in here and so now we have to configure our firefox to you know uh, send all the requests through the proxy server that we have we are going to you know uh, create uh, in this notebook so let's go ahead and do that Manual proxy one two seven zero zero one uh, and eight zero eight zero. Okay. So now let's open our Jupyter notebook and let's execute it. It is actually now. Uh, It is not showing this interrupt. Yeah, as you can see, it is it is listening to the local interface 8080. So now whatever request we are going to send, it has to uh, go through this proxy server and it, the machine learning model that we have developed is going to apply on the all the request that we have, uh, you know, we are going to send. Uh, so let's, you know, split the screen in two parts so that we can see that in real time. And this is our, so let's, so as you can see, our IPS or the proxy is listening to port 8080 and we have configured Firefox to send all the HTTP requests through this 8080 port. So whenever Firefox is going to send any request uh, through 8080, our machine learning model is going to you know, execute on the HTTP request and we are going to find out whether the request is, is bad in nature or not. So that's the plan. 
so if you just you know uh, it's going to you know show us some of the inputs here so if you just press 5 6 it is going to actually it is on the real time it is extracting all the features uh, from the HTTP request that the browser is sending and it is actually printing it here uh, so now actually we are sending all the good requests so that is why you know uh, that is the you know that is the data point that we are getting for this request so now let's uh, send some you know bad is uh, uh, bad request to the server uh, so we are going to use some uh, SQL injection payloads taken from the internet and we'll see if it is able to detect any of this so let's use this one uh, if we just paste it here uh, it it has missed it so let's use this one As you can see it has printed that intrusion is detected so it is successfully our machine learning model is successfully able to uh, identify that the request that we are sending is actually bad in nature so let's try out some other you know um, other SQL injection payload and see if it is able to catch it was actually missed Let's see if it is able to catch this one or not. It's also missed. So let's take this one. It is able to catch that, you know, uh, this request that our browser is sending is bad in nature and it has printed intrusion detected. Uh, so as I have, you know, said in my previous video, I need to work more on you know this uh, feature extraction from the the training data uh, I have not much uh, spent much time to do that actually so obviously the this uh, overall quality of this IPS is going to improve so before I do that actually I just wanted to show you uh, how real-time our IPS web application intrusion prevention system works uh, so I'll continue to work on that and probably you know keep you guys posted how I'm you know trying to improve this uh, IPS that you know I have developed and how I am actually tuning this clustering model to kind of you know make it more precise and accurate. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, so if you enjoy the kind of content I upload on this channel, I'd request you to uh, stay subscribed to this channel. So that's all I wanted to discuss in today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.